Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. In the previous screencast, we have developed the simple chat system using Laravel WebSocket package, UJS and Laravel Eco. Here we can send messages on real time and we can also track the users in this chat page on the real time without hitting refresh with the help of WebSockets. So if you have not watched the previous screencast, then you must watch it before continuing this video. Now in this video, we will look at this user typing text. Right now it is hard coded text and we will make it functional. Next we will also look into this scroll bar. When we send few messages, then we have to scroll it to down to see the message. But we want it should auto scroll to bottom on receiving a new message. We will fix this in a moment. Before moving ahead, if you are new to this channel, hit the red subscribe button and press bell icon so you could never miss our upcoming videos. To fix this we will install view chat scroll package. It is an automatic scroll to bottom directive for view. Here are the installation steps. So let's run this on terminal. It is installed. Now our next step is to import it on JS file. So navigate to resources JS app.js. Here view is imported. So I will copy these and paste it here. Our next step is to use this directive. So in charts component, here inside this ul tag, we have displayed messages and this li tag is a single message item. So we are gonna paste vchat scroll directive here. Now let's test this. So in terminal, npm run watch. It had compiled our changes into app.js file. Refresh the browser. Now if we send message, it is auto scroll to bottom. It is working. Now let's test this uh, side by side browser. In this window, I am going to log in with another account that is john at example.com and password. Now if we send message from here, it is auto scroll to bottom. Now scroll issue is fixed. Auto scroll is working fine. Our next step is to make it working user typing text. We can make it functional with the help of client event. In WebSockets configuration file, by default client messages is disabled. To enable it, we need to set it true. Now in chats component, here is the input field to send messages. So here we say, when a user key is down or when user start typing into this input field, then it will send typing event. Now down here, let's add this method. Here let's grab this channel. Laravel Eco provides us a method to send client message, that is a whisper. We will whisper typing event to all other clients and then any data you need can be passed through here. So we will pass this dot user, the logged in user who is typing the message. So when the user is typing, we will get the channel and whisper to all other clients that the user is typing. So when the user is typing, we are sending client event to WebSocket. Our next step is to listening for a whisper. So we can do that right here. For that we have a method listen for whisper. Name is typing. Next on receive response. For now let's console log to see that in the browser. Refresh both of these browsers. Now if we start typing on this window, nothing happened. I have expected a console log here. Oh, actually we have forgot to restart PHP Artisan serve because we have modified the configuration file and also restart the WebSocket serve. I'm back to browser, refresh both of these windows. Now if we start typing here, 
immediately we can see a typing event captured on this window and that is the user who is typing the message so what we gonna do let's say here we have a an active user initially it is false and here we say on receive typing event this dot active user is equal to user and this is also user and here if we have an active user then active user dot name is typing now let's test this in browser refresh both of this browser now if we start typing here instantly here you can see john is typing text appeared similarly if we type from this end we get the same thing here now we need to make it disappear at some point so here what we need on receive typing event update this active user and then after 3 second reset this active user for that we will use set timeout function here we say this dot active user is equal to false and we will do that after 3 second give that refresh one more time when i start typing and here one two three and it disappeared but you will see a new issue if we continuously type here after three seconds you will see in another window it keeps flashing because this timer keeps getting set and building a memory to keep resetting active user so how are we gonna fix this we have to clear this timer on receiving new typing event so for that let's say we have a typing timer Initially it is false and we will assign this typing timer here. Now here we can say if we have typing timer clear timeout this dot typing timer. So if user is typing we receive a typing event and then update that active user. Next we have already typing timer clear it and it will create a new timer now we come back to chrome give both of these refresh again now as i start typing keep eye on this john is typing it is no longer flashing because we are clearing our timer now if we stop typing then the timer is reset to 3 seconds so after 3 seconds it will disappear now it's all done we have together created a very simple standard chat system. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like the video, hit the like button, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe us. See you in the next upcoming video. Mm -hmm.